What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today we have another one of my little rapid redesigns and I'm going to be changing the three designs that are popping up right here. And we're just gonna see how we can make them better in a rapid time-lapse sort of fashion with my little voiceover. Now also, today is a very important day because today is the very last day that you can join the Design Course pre-launch. So if you head on over to designcourse.com, uh, you'll see this landing page. It'll give you a lot of information. Basically, this is a UI UX course I, I, you know, obviously I'm impartial to it, but I'm gonna say it's the best out there because there's so many different ways outside of just video that you're going to get better. So we have interactive tests, we have design challenges, and if you join mentor program, I actually review your design work. So if you join up, you can see ba the base price is 89, and then optionally you can add design mentor where I personally review all of your work based on the design submissions. And that right here, you could just toggle on. This this price right here is with the 10% off. I and I won't be relaunching this until it's all ready, which is gonna be at the end of the year uh, or at the very latest uh, around January 4th or so of 2022. So definitely check that out. Uh, we can see we already have, uh, 1,521 uh, modules have com been completed across all the users and there's over 300 users right now. Um, here's the waiting review modules right here for me to review. So people are waiting me for me to you know basically give my valuable feedback to help them become better designers. So definitely check out designcourse.com and take advantage of this offer. It's gonna be ending in within probably about uh, 12 to 14 hours. All right, I'll see you all soon and let's get started. Now for the very first entry, we have some cards and a headline. Now there's some issues with the white space around the cards and it's also just a little bland. Now in this context, I've never been a fan of center aligning the headline. I think it helps the overall structure of the layout to flow better when it's left aligned. I also think it makes most sense to stick with the sans serif font as that's what's being used for the card type. Now I'm pretty much sticking with the same type of graphic setup that they have within the cards, but one thing that really just makes everything seem so monotone and boring is the lack of color and imagery. So I'm going to add a colored icon, which should really help the design. One thing the original design lacked was the amount of white space between the cards. There's simply too much. There's such thing as too little and too much white space, of course, and it's important to develop an eye for making that determination. Now in this next design, we have a services section that suffers from a bit of clutter along with white space issues. Now 
Now, the number one biggest issue with this layout is white space, or rather, the lack thereof. When you have a bunch of type that's crammed together, it makes it difficult to read, and also, it just makes the design look amateur. When you have paragraphs of type, give it space, especially in the context of a feature section like this. And finally, the services label, I decided to make a watermark. The fact that these are services offered is inferred by the content itself. So making it a watermark gives it some elegance and simplicity. And last but not least, we have some issues with color and alignment on this design. So let's see if we can give this a facelift. So starting out, the typographic visual hierarchy of the headline and subheadline is pretty solid, but it should be aligned vertically in the center based on the height of the three chat blips to the right of it. Now, one of the biggest things killing the original design was the gray background of the chat cards against the dark blue background of the page. Grays never go well with colors in this context, so I'm using the same hue, but simply making it lighter by adding tint. When you use this method, you generally can't go wrong. As far as the individual cards are concerned, I felt overall it lacked some white space, so I decided to slightly change up the layout, but also add that needed white space. Now, while this is okay looking and still an improvement, we can use graphic design to make things more interesting. So I'm adding a little dotted line going from one chat to the next, and I also decided to add a colored icon above the headline. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. You learned something. Once again, just to plug the fact that this is the last day that you can join the Design Course pre-launch, go to designcourse.com and consider joining. If you have any questions, use the contact form or ask here in the YouTube comments and I'll answer right, answer right away. Rather, I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.